The filter section provides access to three different types of filters, a PPG filter, BX Oberhausen filter, and Nephonium filter. With PPG selected, you can choose from high-pass filters, low-pass filters, and band-pass filters with various slopes. Selecting BX Oberhausen lets you choose from a low-pass, high-pass, band-pass, and notch filter. The Nephonium option uses a low-pass filter shape, but also provides a drive knob. The cutoff knob allows you to adjust the filter's center frequency, affecting the range of frequencies attenuated by the filter. With a low-pass filter selected, you'll hear more top-end frequency content removed as you turn down the knob. With a high-pass filter selected, low-end frequencies are removed as you turn up the knob. A bandpass filter allows frequencies near the filter's center frequency, which you control with the cutoff knob, to pass through the filter. A notch filter is essentially the opposite of a bandpass filter. It rejects frequencies near the filter's center frequency, allowing frequencies outside that range to pass through. The resonance knob boosts frequencies near the filter's center frequency. This is a little hard to hear on its own, but when you turn up the resonance knob and adjust the cutoff value, you'll hear a whooshing or whistling effect as the boosted frequency range moves down the frequency spectrum. This filter velocity knob works quite similarly to the volume velocity knob in the amp and envelope section. It scales the cutoff value based on the velocity of incoming MIDI notes. For example, with a low pass filter selected and the filter velocity knob turned up to 100, MIDI notes with a velocity value below 64 will reduce the cutoff value, while MIDI notes with a velocity above 64 will increase the cutoff value. This can lead to some very natural, lively, and organic filtering effects. Each filter type is capable of slightly different results, so test them out to become familiar with their sound. 